So these days it seems like every brand is coming out with their own bikepacking seat bag, but very few of them actually add or innovate to the design. That's not the case today, folks. We're gonna take a look at a bag from Outer Shell Adventure, which has some pretty cool uh, small design tweaks that really improves the functionality of the seat bag. So find out what they are in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration all about bike travel, then definitely subscribe. This channel is for you. And if you've been watching these videos and have been enjoying them and want to help support the channel, be sure to check out that link in the description below. So jumping right in today, I've got a special treat for you. We're gonna take a look at a innovative seat bag from the folks over at Outer Shell Adventure in Camo. So this video is gonna be a little bit more of a first look and kind of a general overview since I haven't had uh, too many opportunities uh, with our big move out here to uh, Montana to really take it out through its paces. Uh, but let's take a closer look. So this seat bag in particular is a slightly smaller version of their Expedition seat bag. Uh, so what that means is that overall the volume is slightly less, but it's also dropper post compatible and it's also well suited to riders, to short riders like myself, uh, that don't have as much clearance between the top of your tire and your saddle rails. So this bag requires a minimum of at least six inches, uh, which is actually a, a fair amount less than some other seat bags that require up to eight inches of clearance. One of the things you'll notice when you pick up this bag is just the high quality construction and just the really beautiful and nice materials used in this bag. Everything from this camo uh, outer material, which uh, not only looks awesome, but is highly water resistant. You can see on the inside that it's got some treatment to protect it from the elements. To this top patch of this rubberized pebbled non-slip uh, surface for the rails. So the way this attaches to your bike is you've got a strip of Velcro down here uh, in the front and it's got these straps. You actually weave your webbing straps through your rails and then down through this metal cam buckle. It's pretty innovative. I don't think I've seen this in any other seat bag design. And what I love about it is it makes it so much easier to mount a seat bag to your saddle. With other seat bags, you're constantly wrestling with the small little uh, straps that are meant to go over the rails. But with this, since you have the luxury of weaving this really long uh, webbing strap through the rails, it just makes a whole uh, packing and loading process that much easier. I mean, this alone, this, uh, this way that you connect the seat bag to the rails is almost worth the price of admission. So the interior of the bag is really just one large compartment. There's no organization or anything. And the way you close it is you seal up the ends. It's got uh, some Velcro that holds the ends together. Then you roll it up and then you actually buckle uh, the ends together similar to like you would with a dry bag. And then you take the single webbing strap and clip it to the middle of the bag and use it for compression. So the bag overall is fairly minimal. It doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles as other bike packing seat bags. There's no bungee cords to put layers on top. There's no daisy chain for a uh, clip on blinky. Although you could clip it onto this uh, webbing strap, it's a pretty basic but nicely made seat bag. One of the other things that's really awesome about this seat bag, uh, which you probably can't tell just by watching it, but I'll try to show you, is that there's a lot of uh, plastic reinforcement in here, which really helps the bag hold its shape and really makes it easier to pack on the bike. Some seat bags that are really soft and don't have a, a tough interior lining like this, you really have to be conscious of how you pack it, filling up all the nooks and crannies so you get good form on the bag so when you mount it, it doesn't slouch. But with this, since it's so rigid and there's lots of reinforcement, it makes it that much easier to pack uh, and it keeps everything uh, nice and tight on the bike. A good example of where this rigidness really helps is like in this area where if you don't, if, or if you typically don't have it packed very well, this will compress and it will cause your bag to kind of droop. But here, since it's a, a fairly stiff material and it's rigid all around, uh, it really holds the bag shape and helps it from dropping down into your wheel. So I'm gonna go really quickly into the likes and dislikes so far. Again, this isn't a full-on review since I really haven't had a chance 
to take it out on any uh, long trips. So the first big pro is that this is a really nice looking bag. I mean, the aesthetics of uh, this outer shell bag and other ones I've seen in person are just like top notch. I love the pattern of the camo. I love like this nice tactile kind of pebbled rubber uh, bit here. It's just a smart looking bag. Another huge like is this attachment strap. I mean, this alone is might be a reason to get this bag. It just makes it so much easier to put it on your bike, to take it off your bike. There's no need to, to juggle things, to kind of jam your fingers into those nooks and crannies trying to get that top flap of your seat bag uh, connected to the strap. Another big like is the stiffening. The stiffening not only helps give it shape, it keeps it from flopping down, but it's also a little bit more forgiving in terms of packing. You don't have to fill up every nook and cranny uh, optimally per se uh, to, to get this rigid form because it does have this reinforcement. Another huge slash small like for me is that it's small person friendly. Uh, I have a tough time finding seat bags that work with my tire to saddle clearance because I tend to ride smaller bikes. And this one works awesome. Uh, no fear of it rubbing or drooping down and hitting my tire in the middle of a ride or a tour. So in terms of dislikes, there's actually not a whole lot uh, it's priced a little bit on the high side at $160, but people, this is handmade uh, in the U.S. So, you know, there's going to be a certain cost of goods. So that might be a deal breaker for some, but I think it's actually a fair and reasonable price for, for this bag. And another caveat, I wouldn't call it a dislike, is in terms of durability. I'm actually really curious to see how this webbing strap system is going to hold up on, over time. If uh, these uh, metal cam buckles here will somehow loosen or will this fray because you're constantly weaving it in and out. Uh, so that's more of a question of uh, long-term durability. And really, I think that's about it. I mean, I really like this bag so far. Again, this is a preview, not a review. I'm hoping to take it on some more trips and really run it through its paces to give you guys a more accurate sense of how this bag is gonna hold up. But so far, so good. Uh, have you guys used this bag or any other bags by the folks over at Outer Shell? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys have any specific questions about this bag? Leave those in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. And uh, if you like this video, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.